Hello boys and girls, back into the metropole and into Primordia. I have been using uh, the info booth uh, extensively and inquired all sorts of stuff. The Law in You, a metropolitan game. <laughs> it's written by Clarity Arbiter Build. Oh, okay. We, need, we get to meet her later. So I, I think that was all I needed to do with the keyboard input. So let's get back to the courthouse because there are other folks I need to talk to. The motor's been stripped of its copper wiring. So we can offer. I could give it to him yep. this way, but maybe I should try fixing it first. Yep. I have tried what happens if I give it to him or her. Uh, basically, he gives up the spot in the in the line, but uh, that's that's all. He isn't fixed or anything, so I'm not gonna hold on to it right now. Instead, let's talk with this fellow. Excuse me, sir. My apologies, sir. 187th Legion Belt, Surly Company, reporting. Uh, Horatio Nobelt, version 5. A pleasure. Horatio Nobelt, sir? <laughs> Never heard of any service bot with that designation. Still, it's good to see another Urbanian, sir. After things got fubar back home, I figured Surly Company was all that was left. Urbanian? What are you talking about? Sod! Finally made a friendly and he's as cracked as Primer. <laughs> no offense, sir, just hoped... Well, never mind that. How can I assist you, sir? Uh huh. Surly Company, Urbanian. What are you talking about? Um, well, sir, I'm not sure quite where to start. I had you figured for one of us, seeing as how you came up as a friendly on my IFF. I could see you as a member of Surly Company, Bob. As <laughs> <Is> friendly? <laughs> Zoom you some mouth on it, huh, sir? Always do those flyboys. Look, why don't you just give me a quick rundown? Well, sir, can't say the harm, and if you are a decoy. War's over, after all. It's over before Surly Company even deployed. See, we're Urbanian robots. Uh -huh. A long time back, Urbani and Metropol got to fighting over something. Who knows what? The Metropolitans fried their civilians, and Legion told us to strike back. Word was, some big airship of ours was supposed to knock out Metropol's defenses, and we'd just come in from Mapa. But the Metros took our ship down with their own heavy hitter, some giant named Goliath. I <laughs> see. Anyway, Surly Company was all that was left, so we deployed 200 strong. What happened then? Well, it's a long march from Urbani, sir, and most of us, well, most of us broke down on the way. All said and done, the only ones who made it were me, 113th, and a signal bot we called Primer. The rest are all out there in the dunes somewhere. I'm sorry. War is war, sir. If it didn't crash hard, they wouldn't have built us in the first place. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, Horatio cut a finger off a giant robot that I'm pretty sure was Goliath. <laughs> well, sir, someone ought to stick a medal on your chest. <laughs> okay. Why are you in line? Seeing as how I'm on the outside now, sir, I figured I had to go pay restitution for shooting up the enemy HQ. Enemy HQ? Yes, sir. That big tower in the center of the city. Okay, so why haven't you paid? It sounds like all of this happened a long time ago. Years ago, sir. But the courthouse has been locked down the whole time. I figured they'll open it up eventually, and then I can clear my name. What if it doesn't open? Well, sir, I know all about hurry up and wait. <laughs> can I try opening that door? Lay that, sir. The authorities told me that no one goes in till the door opens on its own. But aren't we Yay. on the same side? Affirmative, sir. But since I'm on CivDiv now, my programming requires me to submit to the local authorities. Yay! Don't we just love authorities? What happened to 113th and Primer? After we got to Metropole, we tried to put up a fight, but couldn't do much. They fried 113th, and my rifles jammed. Primer surrendered on our behalf. <laughs> After dressing us down, they took all my big guns and sold 113th shell to some scrap dealer. Primer never was the same. He encrypted part of his own logic so he wouldn't have to think about losing the war any longer. Then, he disappeared beneath the city. And me, I came here. Uh -huh. How did the war end? For Surly Company, it ended when we staggered in here and surrendered. Beyond that, sir, it's all above my pay grade. Truth is, sir, we never even knew what we were fighting for, let alone what the Metropolitans wanted. So I can't say for certain that Metropole won. 
but I'm pretty sure Urbani lost, what with all the civilians being dead and the army being beaten. <laughs> How do you know you even have to pay something? This seems logical, sir. <laughs> what if I could pay your fine for you, or get it cancelled? Well, sir, then I'd be much obliged. And I'd probably just leave town. Can't say that I'd much like being in enemy territory. And how are we gonna do that, boss? I'll figure something out. Goodbye. We'll run out, sir. Okay. So, now we have our objectives from this whole bunch. And I'm gonna make another manual save. Yes. And... Now we're going on the ground. Did you buy an Urbanian robot named 113th Legion build? I've done a lot of trades, Tyro. I can't be expected to keep track of them all. Sure. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. You want it? You're gonna need to bring me a glass on. We're not looking to pick up random motors. Okay. That there's an old Nova robotic subsistence coil. Not interested. We could get wire from it. We don't need another battery. Uh huh. That servo unit is hopelessly broken. Uh huh. That's a water chip. I trade it for a cat. Uh huh. Look, boy. Bring me something that'll cover a face and it's yours. Okay. Oh, and recording the Urbani and the Surly Company, uh, I did a query in the info booth about uh, Horus, and it would seem that... Uh, Should we take some lesson away from the fact that after putting all that work into building the energy sensor, it just burned up on us? Yes. Use more fuses. <laughs> uh, so, the Curie Horus... Uh, returned with the info that Horus was uh, some sort of uh, weapon or a glitch. So um, I'm suspecting that uh, Horatio is uh, maybe a result of uh, some residual program developing sentience or something like that. Okay, fun times begin. Let's head that way first. Oh yeah, actually we need to go that way first. There's no way I can reach that. Uh -huh. I don't want that sludge in my joints. Let's talk. Oh, oh, ha. Oh, hey. Now look what I see. <laughs> the wings of a baddie in his little training. <laughs> Why is everyone we meet crazy? Crazy, he says. Oh, my, oh, dear. I assure you, my comrades, there's nothing to fear. <laughs> Just little lost me, your brother Matt Eric. A brother in arms, we have different parents. That didn't drive very well. Who are you? My name is my secret, you can't make me talk. I grew in my puzzle, give a key to my lock. Maybe we'll just call you screw loose. <laughs> Joker he seems, for sure not ace. He needs a small clue to spare the disgrace. Crowds who adore me, crime is my name. By now, no doubt, you've heard of my fame. You're 187th's brother. Line up the torso, there's 200 abreast. The bravest of brave, the best of the best. Wind up the two soldiers to march on their way. The city has fallen, no reason to stay. <laughs> 200 abreast, my sisters and brothers. Now only three left. Forget all the others. I guess that's a yes. Empty behind me, he came off the line. The gunner's no fun, 
for being a brother of mine. How do you survive down here? I'm a soldier by trade. Legion built me to last. My armor is sturdy, my pistons are fast. I carry no guns, for my weapon's my mind. And those who would kill me will find themselves cried. Really, don't you think you're overdoing it? <laughs> it barely made sense. And it hardly rhymed. <laughs> no. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? When we laid down our arms, my letter was taken. Shrunk and Nirvana from the cause we'd forsaken. The Metropolitan Thief cast it deep in this hole. Where now it lies buried like bituminous coal. Hogs and gears, bituminous coal! <laughs> You're looking for a medal? No, my comrade, you've misunderstood. I sit here and wait, as a penitent should. If the medal finds me, I shall claim it straight. But until that day, I shall sit here and wait. Why primer? There's nothing so gorgeous, flawless, or fine as the perfectly indivisible numbers of prime. Consider this list two to one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Well, Thanks that you. was helpful. <laughs> Goodbye. Farewell, farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is powered. The city awaits. Okay, so the prime number this that he gave us. Uh, I'm guessing that all those uh, numbers represent different bots as well. And uh, it turns out that uh, some of the numbers Let's check our data. Some of the numbers actually uh, give the answer to this keypad. Thing. There's something up there on the crane. Crispy? That's crazy talk. Boss, I'm not in the business of flying over to spooky islands just to investigate things that you're curious about. <laughs> but it might be a killer robot with a grudge against witty sidekicks. I was going to say, helpful. <laughs> okay, let's say Crispin over here. So basically what I'm trying to do is uh, I want to get to this island and to do so I need to lower the bridge and to do so... Let's get over here. To do so I need to do some keypadding. Crispin, can you try typing something into that keypad? If by typing you mean ramming my face, then yes, boss, I suppose I can. Okay, so it was three digits, and I already know the answer. I don't remember it, but I know it. So, 187 is the one waiting. And the one who calls him Prime is Primer uh, is 50 spots before him, so it was 137, and 137 is indeed a prime number. So. <laughs> Let's go. Are these heads? <laughs> Did you hear something? Uh, boss, do you see those things? I've got a bad feeling about this, boss. Christmas on the count of three. Hello. I am Clarity Arbiter Belt, version two, Lock Lurk to Arbiter, Judge of Metropole. This is my home. Now, if you will excuse me a moment.
That's barbaric. Civilization is defined by law, and this is lawful. As enemies of the city, they forfeited their components. I have merely exercised my right of plunder. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Whether it's legal or not, it's grotesque. You have a strange way of saying thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm Horatio Nobilt, version 5. And I'm Crispin Horatio Bilt, version 1. Welcome, Horatio. Crispin, what brings you to the Underworks? Okay, before we talk, I'm gonna make a save. Goodbye. Watch yourself, Horatio Nobilt. There are many dangers in this city. What were those things? They are shells. Robots who traded their processors and memory to Metromind in exchange for energy and repairs. Now mindless, they still scavenge parts to trade with her. But those were the last of them, right? <laughs> Hardly. Metromind now has more efficient ways to accumulate processor power, but she left hundreds of shells in the Underworks. Is there any way to save them? That question is irrelevant. They lived profligate lives, and when they had squandered their resources, chose to become thieves and destroyers. Punishment, not clemency, is what justice requires. You said you were a law clerk. What does that mean? My sister Charity and I were built to advise Arbiter Manbuilt, who administers Metropole's court. Charity sees everything through the lens of mercy. For me, the law is clear, a matter of ones and zeros, unclouded by preference or sentiment. Law without mercy, huh? How does that <laughs> even work? Perfectly. It is the opposite <laughs> approach that fails. Mercy is malware. Once infected with it, justice becomes slow and unpredictable. In time, the system itself must be discarded. Only my vigilance protected Arbiter from this taint. But he has been without me for a long time. Mm -hmm. Consider this. Each code has a purpose. Each law has a purpose. What if your law was based on faulty premises? Hmm? Why are you taking their heads? I am giving fair warning. To other shells? No, they lack the capacity for fear. The heads are for a robot named Scraper Sternweiler built. You really think a bunch of rusty boxes will scare him off? <laughs> no, I do not want to scare him. I want to warn him. When he ignores that warning, I can destroy him lawfully and without guilt. Uh, boss, she's kind of exciting my electrons. <laughs> Doesn't uh, lawful and uh, guilt sort of exclude each other? Like, maybe. Okay. Did you say Arbiter Man built? As in, built by man himself? Yes. Does man still walk here? In Metropole? No. But man was here in the past. What I know is entirely hearsay. I was built after the Urbanians murdered them during the war. Impossible. That is what Arbiter told me, and it was told to him by Metromind. Beyond that, I cannot say. The public records regarding humans were deleted by Council Decree. Did Arbiter tell you anything else about man? Only that he missed their legal arguments. Quite amusing, <laughs> if often illogical. Legal arguments? Yes. To play a symbolic role in their justice system, humans argued cases before Arbiter. Symbolic? Play a role? Man is the all-builder, our lord and master. <laughs> It is possible that the man you worship is not the humans in my records. All I know is hearsay. Do not rush to judgment. <laughs> why aren't you with Arbiter? Arbiter sent me away. I don't know why. The evidence suggests he viewed my sister Charity's advice as superior. What do you mean? When Metromind began taking over the Council, Charity and I disagreed as to how Arbiter should respond. I informed Arbiter that the Metropolitan Constitution permitted him to dissolve the Council and govern by decree. Charity felt that this would inevitably lead to civil war and suffering. As ever, she preached moderation. We argued. Arbiter told me to leave. This was the only place I could go. Why? There's an entire city up there. Every building in Metropole is owned by either the Council or a private citizen. If I went to the Council, it would embarrass Arbiter. If I went to a private citizen, my impartiality would be questioned when I returned to the court one day. Here, I owe nothing to anyone. But you have to fight off crazy robots all the time! <laughs> Actually, I enjoy that. It's a pleasant <laughs> break from legal research and writing. There's a robot named 187th Legion built waiting at the courthouse. 
He says he has to pay a fine for damaging city property. Is there any way to cancel the fine or pay it without standing in line? I do not provide assistance to robots who attacked the city, nor do I help criminals avoid paying their debts. C-O. Goodbye. Watch yourself, Horatio Nelbilt. There are many dangers in the city. I want to see if we can hunt her the... Did you write this? Yes, it is informative and accurate. <laughs> what else can we offer her? That's never going to work. Oh, okay. That's never going to work. Uh, I guess. Oh, can we grace her? Feudal. Okay, let's just resume the dialogue. I'd like to report a theft. My power cord was stolen by a big robot. Big claws, shoots lasers, talks like this. <laughs> he came aboard the crashed ship I was living in, attacked me, and stole the core. Took it. Excuse me? Hmm. Whether the taking was a theft is a legal determination. Please do not characterize the evidence. It was my power core. He shot me, and he stole it. I know the robot you describe. His name is Scraper Sternweiler Built, and he is the servant of Metromind Manbuilt, a member of the council that governs this city. I have no fondness for Metromind, but I must be impartial in considering your claim. Tell me, did Scraper say anything before he took your power core? Before he stole my power core, <laughs> he said something like, Enemy, forfeit, plunder. I see. What, are those words override commands to turn off law and order? They are legal concepts, Horatio. If Scraper's characterization is correct, then he did not steal your power core. He took lawful possession of it. He shot me and he stole it. Calm down, boss. <laughs> this occurred inside the city. No, in the dunes. I see. In a crashed airship. Yes, I said that already. I appreciate your report, Horatio Nelbilt. You have presented a credible claim that Scraper Sternweiler built, no doubt acting at Metromine's direction, took your power core. Beyond that, however, there is not even probable cause to arrest, let alone evidence to convict Scraper. First, the dunes are outside the ordinary jurisdiction of metropolitan law. Second, a crashed ship in the dunes is likely a relic of the War of the Four Cities. If so, your ship was forfeit enemy property, legally subject to plunder by the Council. Plunder! Scraper, acting as an agent of a Council member, would be within his rights to seize it. Nevertheless, I would advise you to bring your case before Arbiter for further examination. That's it? Go visit Arbiter? You're just going to let Metromind attack and rob me? If Metromind violated the law, it must be proven. Until it is proven, what the law does not forbid, the law permits. And what the law permits, I must permit. This is insane. Metromind is a tyrant and a thief. You'd let her hide behind the law? You think that the law protects Metromind from you. The armor of the law does nothing but restrict her movement. Take it away and she will only become more dangerous. But once it is taken from her, it is taken from everyone. You need Law's armor, Horatio, far more than you need its sword. I despise Metro Mind, but justice must be impartial, or it is meaningless. Your justice is already meaningless. How can I see Arbiter? Anyone can petition him. Cases are considered in the order they are brought to court, but... What? I met a scavenger who told me that the courthouse was sealed and that Arbiter was no longer hearing cases. But that cannot be true. The Metropolitan Constitution requires him to resolve all cases and controversies. He would not fail in that duty. Sounds like he already has. Nonsense. <laughs> not even Charity could persuade him to abandon his obligations. Still, I did not detect any falsehood, evasion, or omission in the scavenger's statement. So, perhaps the courthouse has been locked for some other reason. If so, it may be that Arbiter is trying to contact me, but cannot. Maybe... maybe he is already calling me home. Horatio, I have a request of you. You are under no obligation to perform it, and I will be under no obligation to you, even if you do. Do you understand? I don't even know what you're asking me to do. Talk to Arbiter. Uh -huh. Ask him if I can return. Tell him. Tell him that I await his summons. That's it? Believe me, we've had to do a lot worse than that. Like this one time we chased <laughs> this crazy partial named Gamma. <laughs> of course we'll help. But how do we even get into the courthouse? This will get you inside. Thanks. I must thank you, Horatio. Clarity, you saved our lives. Compared to that, running an errand is nothing. The law obligated me to save you, Horatio. I would have done the same for Metromind. 
but I am glad it was you that I saved. I wish you justice. Okay, uh, we have obtained a key card. It's an encoded key card. Except uh, to get it to the door, we have to point one. Fix the motor. I mean, I want to fix the motor and then give it to the Mandelberg butt. And we need uh, to find the way to persuade the uh, 187 to give up the position at the door. Of course, now I have more stuff in my inventory than I did last night. For example, I didn't take the law print out then. I'm not sure about the rest. Something tells me that uh, in order to deal with 187 uh, in a meaningful manner, we would have to get Primer uh, back his middle. You know, boss, ever since riding that train, I've realized how awesome it will be to fly the Unique someday. Mm. The sun in my optical sensors, the wind blowing against my forward plating. You are going to let me fly it, right, boss? After spending <laughs> decades fixing it up? Ha! <laughs> but I'm the only one of us with any flying experience. Hovering. Same difference. <laughs> you say ruder, I say router. Okay, I think... I'm I have having... nothing to say to yeah, her. Yeah, we have already spoken to her. It's been completely stripped of any useful parts. I don't think Clarity would approve of our taking one of her skulls. Is that the Xenomorph skull? I don't think Clarity would approve of our taking one of her skulls. Okay. So this box is sealed shut. Let's see if there are any details that I missed last night. That's crazy talk. Oh, of course. It's been completely stripped of any useful parts. Okay, can we... Uh, uh -huh. That's as far as we can go. Hmm. I sure have a lot of stuff now. What to do with half of it? Okay, is this exit? Oh, it takes us back here. So we have to walk across the bridge again. I can't see anything to do with it. I can't see anything to do with it. I don't want that sludge in my joints. Okay, so now we get to explore a little bit further this way. What's this? They're much too quick to catch. And even if I could, what would I do with one? Deactivate oh. it and give it to Metro Mind as a warning? <laughs> It's never going to work. I wouldn't want to risk it getting eaten. Oh, okay. So it is useful after all. What else to have? Totally unilluminating. Oh, I was hoping the light would attract them. I wouldn't want to risk it getting eaten. Carry on. 
Warning. Factor facilities decommissioned. Enter at own risk. So apparently this leads somewhere. Somewhere we can't There's nothing worth bothering go. with. Some kind of broken down robot. Whatever it is, it looks dangerous. For now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that way. For now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that way. So, uh, we have just discovered yet another uh, problem or obstacle to overcome. Clear out this way to Boss, there. That robot over there is really giving me the creeps. <laughs> Just build me a missile launcher and I'll get right on it. <laughs> I was thinking you could distract it. And then what? Uh, Let's stick to missiles. <laughs> Wait. If I had some sort of. If I had a piece of RAM, I could give it to him, maybe? For now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that way. Okay. I think Primer had something to say about this. There's a shell just past here. Yeah, aren't you worried he's gonna eat you or something? I've seen him quite often, though he'll not see me. And so we are happy as neighbors to <laughs> me. Can you hide us from him? If I could, I would not, but the choice is not mine. There's no room in his brain to be for the primed. Goodbye. Farewell, farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. Uh, gee, thanks. These submersible robots seem to be consuming the iron oxide in this runoff water. In other words, they'd eat us if we fell in? Only our rust. <laughs> now I really wish you'd polish me with that rag, boss. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if, if there's a way to interact with these little buggers. Anyway, uh, right now I have I've come uh, further than I did last night, uh, as it is, because then I I didn't quite. Uh, didn't quite uh, uh, notice them. Boss, I think I've been quite clear about the fact that I don't want to be eaten alive by another robot. Okay, so this is just plain water here. Okay, let me save. Inventory, I want to say four five. I wouldn't expect much conversation out of him. <laughs> now that's what I call a floating bomb, boss. <laughs> Anyone home? Actually, I wanted to talk to this other floating robot. Oh, okay, this one. I think it's ignoring you, boss. Boss? Is that a floating robot with a claw and a plasma torch? <laughs> Technically, it's an arc welder. Technically, that robot's builder is about ten times cooler than you, boss. Oh. Let's see now. Yeah, I guess we could offer the this uh, sheet. Leopold to cover his face, but I guess that's, that's what he wants. Let's go talk to these other some more. Oh, I have nothing to say to him. Mandelberg, but this corner, Kimball. Okay. Probably means something. But, uh, I'm missing half the references anyway. I met Primer. You still crazy? <laughs> yep. 
Well, so it goes. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll run out, sir. Look here. Under Metropole's refuge oh. rule, a newcomer to the city is not liable for any superficial property damage caused within the first 48 hours of his arriving in the city. Well, sir, I'll be crashed. Oh. I shot that building pretty good. Are you sure? <laughs> Think so. <laughs> Wait, doesn't it mean that... 187th Legion build. There's nothing more to say to him. Does this mean... That he will uh, let us go in now? Believe that. Keep information. Uh, I guess we need to wait our turn. Oh, okay. I am waiting. <laughs> uh, can I offer you a belt? Feudal. Okay. Bus stop. Service suspended. I am waiting. Can we destroy the sign? There's no reason to cut that. Oh, okay. Uh, crystal? I am waiting. That's crazy talk. Okay. Is there something we can do here? Hmm. Can we give him the key card? How would that even work? Oh, okay. Right. So now I'm at the point, uh... I don't know what to do next. I mean, I know what I want to achieve, but I don't know how to how to get there. I have nothing to say to him. Okay. I'm not here to steal parts. I'm not here to steal parts. Yep. Let's see if we can get any more data out of the Anyone home? I'm pretty sure that's uh, well, okay, but maybe not the home. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. Thumb. That servo unit is hopeless. Okay, get it. I have no need for an abacus. But it's pretty. We don't need a direct. Let's see, can we trade it's this? not worth trading for that. Okay. What about this? It's not worth trading. Okay. It's not worth trading for that. Okay. <laughs> Can we like drink and I'd have to buy something. No sense trying to talk with him. That arm robot appears to be the bartender here. But how will I buy something? It's a price list. It's a price list. How will I buy something if bar. I don't talk to him? Okay. Quite a tower. Is there something we can examine here? Storage bladder is empty. This is no time for sitting around. Metropole's bleak skyline. It says blue line. Yeah, so this is the point where I probably have all the information I need. Some kind of blast crater. Some kind of blast crater. But I don't know how to put it together. 
Brisbane. Have some fun. <laughs> do, do. <laughs> so cool! <laughs> it's no longer do. operational. Yeah, and we can't salvage anything from it. Okay, I need I need advice, Crispin. Time to give Gimbal his motor back, right, boss? Yeah, but I want to repair it first. Sorry, boss. I've got sand in my audio receptors. I'll let you know when it's oh. up. Oh, uh, sure. Let's see my data. This is where it is. Street Tower Corn Station. provide us the code uh, for the tower. that Crispin gave me was that we should examine the door or we should examine damage uh, that 187 did so I don't know how anyway uh, we have completed some objectives and there are some complex ones ahead of us so make a pause here and continue soon and save the game so bye bye for now and see you soon